I hope you enjoyed the other video. Now this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the questions for the calculations for the lab. So this would be under the calculations and equations section. There were um, quite a few questions. The first question was, write the balanced equation. So I went ahead and wrote the balanced equation for you. Two sodium bicarbonate yields sodium carbonate when heated, yields sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide. I included the molar mass under each one because I know I'm going to be having to go across the mole bridge. So I just take care of the molar mass all at once. Okay. Question number two said, um, calculate the percent by mass and the percent composition. So I'm going to show you how to do that after we find out how much sodium bicarbonate we have. So we have to do this first, and then we can look at questions two, three, four, and five are the same question. I think when I typed it up, it made another number because I must have um, returned it, but four and five are part of the same thing. I asked for percent error, and then I told you how to calculate percent error. So four and five are the same question. Six is the same as two. I do want you to calculate it twice, the percent of composition, because that's huge. So I want to make sure you can understand how to do that. And number seven is just answer the rest of the questions. Okay, so first we're going to do this, and then we're going to look at two and three and see how that works out. Okay, so I'm going to give you a, a sample. So let's say I have a dish that weighs 29.05 grams. The dish plus the sample, I weighed it, and it was 31.70 grams. And then the sample by itself is 2.65 grams. And then after heating, it was 1.63 grams. So how much did I lose? I look at these two numbers and I subtract, right? So it looks like I lost 1.02 grams. So I lost 1.02 grams. That's the water and the carbon dioxide. That's what was lost. So I need to know how many moles were lost so that I can calculate how much, many moles of baking soda I had to begin with. So I take the 1.02 and I divide it by the 62 grams per mole. So I take 1.02, 1.02 divided by 62 grams, and I get 0 0.01645. 0 0.01645. Now, normally, we would multiply it by 2 to find out how many baking sodas we have, but this is pure info. So it already takes into consideration that two of these broke down to form one of these, right? Because this is weighed, so it's not theoretical at all. It's experimental. So if I have this many moles lost by atom economy, I have to have that many moles of atoms here, right? So um, in order to find out how many grams of this I have, I just multiply it by 0 0.01645 moles. So this is grams per mole. And there's my multiple. Okay? So I can't lose more than I have here. So whatever I have here, however many moles I have here, is how many moles I'm going to be losing of this. So this too has already been taken into consideration by your lab itself. We're not doing a theoretical yield. We're doing the experiment, and the experiment's already taken into consideration now. So I take this 0 0.01645, I multiply it by 84, times 84, and I get 1.38, 1 1.3819. So I'm going to keep these digits, all the significant digits, plus a couple more, so that I can make sure my answer is with the significant so this is how much sodium bicarbonate I have. And to find out how much sodium carbonate I have, I take this number and I subtract it from the original. So I take the 2.65 and I subtract 1.3819 and I end up with 2.65 minus 1.3819. I end up with 1.2681 grams, 1.2681 grams. This is the sodium carbonate, and this one is the sodium bicarbonate. And those are the numbers I'm going to use when I do numbers two and three. Okay, so I'm going to keep my example, 
and I'm going to do numbers two and three now. Okay. I have to uh, get rid of this. I need to fix it. All right. I'm kind of emotionally attached to those because I don't know if I'm going to need them. I don't think. So two. I said, what's my percent recovery? Or percent by mass. I'm sorry. Percent by mass. Remember, percent by mass is part divided by whole. So originally, my sample was 2.65. So I have 1.3819 grams sodium bicarbonate. Divide that by 2.65 of the original. Gives me a percent by mass of... Fifty-two point fifteen percent. So this is fifty-two point fifteen percent by mass. <coughs> now of the of sodium bicarbonate. Sodium carbonate, I have one point two six eight forty grams of sodium carbonate divided by the two point six five of the original. And I should have 48%, right? If I did it right. Yeah, 47.85%. 47.85%, which when you add these two up, that I think is exactly. And one of the reasons why it's exact is because I didn't drop the numbers, right? I didn't just drop them and do the significant digits right away. So that's called percent recovery, I mean percent by mass. So this percent by mass needs to match the one I have that I originally made. All right, I can get rid of this. Question number three then is percent recovery, the one that I keep saying. <coughs> percent recovery is what you got. So for your sodium bicarbonate, you got 1.3819 grams, and by what the teacher has, okay? If I had gave you 1.38 grams, shazam, you got 100% recovery, which means you didn't lose anything. But if I gave you 1.8 grams, you'd have to do the 1.38 divided by 1.8, and that would give you some kind of percent recovery, right? And then sodium carbonate, Percent recovery, so this is percent recovery, would be um, 1.2681 divided by, again, my teacher value, teacher's amount, the amount I put in it original, and that's going to give you some kind of percent recovery. Now, error is you take the teacher's value minus your value divided by the teacher's value, right, because I'm the F. I'm the, the actual value. So when you do um, number four, percent error, actually you can do it one of two ways. Your percent recovery right here should be 100%, right? If it's not 100%, how much off are you? So this should be close to 100%. So let's say you got a 97. Well, you're percent error then would be 3%, right? Because you're, you're only off by 3%. Or you can calculate it. And so that is the absolute value of the experimental, I'm going to put theoretical first, theoretical minus experimental divided by theoretical. Sometimes this is called actual And in this case, it is actual, because it's what I weighed and put in. Okay? And I didn't make a mistake. So again, five just tells you how to do the percent error. That's all it is. Six is a repeat of percent by mass, because I really need you to know how to do percent by mass. And then seven, you just answer the questions that are in the packet. All right? I hope this helps. And remember, this is a learning process.
Do not stay up 10 hours tonight writing this lab. You don't need to, okay? I'm just looking at key areas that I put on your mind to, that I'm going to be looking at. And the key areas for this is your numbers, your data. And 12th graders, I didn't give you this data yet, the teacher's values. I'm going to give it to you when you return your lab to me. I'm going to type it in the comment section. And then I'm going to give it back to you so that you can redo it. You can do that part of it. Okay, because it's just hard for me to have 20 kids asking me for numbers. So I just need to have a little bit of space and I can type it up at home. All right, so submit your labs tonight and I will get those values uh, typed in tomorrow for you. And then you can turn it in for reals on Monday. All right, I hope this helps. Email me if you have any questions. I know several of you have emailed me already. And um, I will be answering those emails, okay? I just haven't gotten to them yet. Um, my um, daughter had her baby reveal this weekend, and it, I hosted it in my house. So I found out I'm having a little granddaughter. I have two grandsons, so now I know that I'm going to have a little baby girl um, granddaughter. So that was fun, but that took up my entire day yesterday, so I wasn't able to get to schoolwork. So I'm going to try to do it this afternoon. And then tomorrow I will help you with your lab write-ups. All right. I hope this helped. And again, um, email me if you have any questions. All right. Because I really am here to help.